We are intelligence. We are intelligence. Everything we do is intelligence. We are intelligent life forms. <laughs> when a baby is born, intelligence is born. These days we talk a lot about artificial intelligence or AI. We are HI, <laughs> human intelligence. Again, to me, intelligence is not a matter of how knowledgeable you are. To me, that would be a matter of intellect. We are intelligence because we are alive. The moment we die, intelligence dies. This plastic tub, <laughs> which I keep my magnesium in, this plastic tub is not intelligence. If it was to suddenly come to life, that would mean it had, it had become intelligent. <laughs> does it? Does anybody see all this? Now we, we as intelligence, we operate through memory, which is knowledge. Think of a newborn baby. A newborn baby can't do a lot, can it? So speech and movement, actions and reactions are all being acquired from early childhood. Or in other words, knowledge is being acquired from early childhood. So as we age, knowledge is always in operation. Everything we do is the result of knowledge. We are knowledge. <laughs> now respectfully, I want to slow this down a little bit. <laughs> Not sure what that has to do with slowing things down, but I want to slow this down a little bit without being condescending. So look, we are the brain. The brain is intelligence. So we are intelligence. The brain is perception. So we are perception. Thought, thinking is an activity of the brain. So we are thought. Now, conventionally, we think that we are separate from our thoughts. But that in itself is the conclusion of thought. <laughs> we think we are separate from our thoughts. Does anybody see that? <laughs> so to put it simply, to wrap, to wrap it up and put it simply. You are your brain. And anything that goes on within the brain is you. <laughs> now look, just because I say you are your brain. Of course, in no way am I denying that you are your body too. So, of course, anything that goes on within the body is also you. <laughs> the brain and the body combined is a human being, which is what we all are. Now, obviously, the the body, the skeleton, the body, however you want to say it, the body houses the brain. So anything that physically happens to the body affects the brain. <laughs> the reason I'm highlighting this statement you are your brain. The reason I'm exaggerating that statement is for the fact that everything which makes you you stems from your brain in the sense that major organs can be transplanted and you can still be you. Limbs can be lost, unfortunately, in accidents and you can still be you. Minus limbs. You understand what I'm saying? But if the brain is damaged, if the brain is removed, there's no you. Technically, if the brain is damaged, of course, there is still, there is still a you. But you are brain damaged, which means you might not 
be able to function in conventional ways. Does, does anyone see all this? So look, <laughs> what's my point here? No point, really. <laughs> I'm simply just describing this fascinating, intelligent thing which we call a human being, which is what we are. All the best. Take care.